British Compact Car. This is Blue Brick Set 105608, designed by designer Adrian. It was released in March 2023 for about 48 euros. This construction block set consists of 1195 pieces. The bricks in the set are compatible to bricks by other construction blocks companies like Lego, Kobe, Mega and so on. This is a blue brick special set. So it comes without any fancy box design. There are no printed building instructions. We have to download them as a PDF file from the Blue Bricks website. The bricks are not pre-sorted. They don't come in numbered bags. There are no individual building sections. This compact car, of course, is supposed to be the famous Mini Mark IV from the Mr. Bean series. It's from the scene where he controls his Mini from an armchair attached to the top of the car. To give the set some more details, I also ordered these two Lego tiles here, which have prints on them. I'm going to use these tiles as uh, the car's license plates. I think I paid uh, three and a half euros for each of those Lego tiles. And I'm also trying to build a little add-on for this set here. I bought a Psycho Ward 666 mock on Reprickable for I think five US dollars. This mock is a Mr. Bean figure which sits in an armchair. So you can see here we already got an armchair. So I'm only building the Mr. Bean minifigure. But I think I might have ordered a few bricks too many. I'm not sure. But we will see when we uh, talk about the mock in the later part of this video. The smog isn't supposed to be part of uh, or an add-on for this blue brick set, but it is supposed to be an add-on for Psycho Ward 666 uh, own designed mini. And his mini, or better said, at least his armchair is a bit bigger than uh, the armchair we got here. So I'm not 100% sure that uh, this will turn out in a proper way in the end, but I will just try. I paid for the bricks in total uh, 23 euros. I ordered them in, uh, I think it were three orders on, Reprick uh, on Bricklink. And in total, the shipping costs were 12 euros. And yeah, these are 163 bricks. And as I said before, maybe I ordered some bricks more than I actually need. It's not the best price. I, uh, it's not the best deal I could get, I think, on Bricklink. 22 euros for just about 163 bricks. Sounds a bit much, but yeah. I just really wanted to try this out, so we will see later if it was a good idea or if I could have saved the money. Well then, now let's have a look inside the box and also download the building instructions. As you can see, the bags contain a mixture of bricks of different types. Normally, I always recommend to sort all your bricks before you start with the building process, because it just saves you so much time when you don't have to search for an individual brick at each building step. 
But I think with an amount of just about 1200 bricks, it isn't really necessary to sort them before you start with the build. When we have a look at uh, the bags, we can see that one bag looks different than the other bag and other bags. This bag here just is a Ziploc bag and I guess it was added to the, bar uh, to the box later than all the other bags. Maybe the bricks here are from another producer than all the other bricks? I don't know. When we have a look at the bricks themselves, we can see that many bricks come with these ugly injection holes. That's quite typical for blue bricks bricks. But there are also a lot of bricks which actually look quite nice. These injection points here are absolutely acceptable. And I think we won't have any problems with the clutch power. Nowadays, blue bricks uses bricks with quite decent clutch power. So the bricks themselves should work quite fine. Also, some of them won't look as nice, but when we have a look at the building instructions, we can see that there won't be any visible studs once the build is complete, so the ugly injection holes shouldn't be too big of a problem when we only use them for the set. What I noticed is when we have a look on the box, on its backside, that here is a sticker which, uh, yeah, which contains uh, some warnings in different languages. And I have never seen the stick on another blue brick set before. When we have a look at older boxes, we only got the sprint here, which only has the warning in German. But I have to say that this box here uh, is quite new. I didn't get a set back when it was released. I simply was too slow. The set was sold out too fast. So I had to wait a few months until the second batch was released. And it seems that they have updated their box now for international customers. That's cool. Okay, then let's have a look at the instructions. The instructions begin with, yeah, this... Uh, <laughs> with an instruction uh, which shows us how to use these ironing beads here, these, yeah, single studs. Blue Bricks uses them uh, in many, many sets. They are used to invert building directions. And I showed you how this works in a lot of my videos, but I think I'm going to show you once again how this is managed. Well then, I'm going to open all my bags and after that, after that I will start with step one. I will come back to you as soon as something interesting happens or something doesn't work as shown in the instructions. Step 21. So far the instructions are very clear and easy to follow, but I think they could be improved. For example, have a look at these tiles here. I don't know how long these tiles are. We got uh, these tiles here, or for example, these shorter tiles here. And when we don't have a look at uh, the build and count uh, the stats, or just by trying out, we don't know how long the needed tile is. I think they could have written down here next to the tile the length of it. 
Step 45. It's time to add the white license plate. And of course, I'm not going to add the empty one, but the printed one that I have ordered. Step 118. We are building the bootlet right now. And here is a piece that I haven't seen before, or at least I haven't used it before. It's a 3x4 triple curved wedge. Lego introduced this piece in 2011 and it appeared in about 80 Lego sets so far. It's always cool to discover pieces that I didn't know before. Step 121. It's time to place the second license plate, the yellow one. And once again, I'm not going to use the blank tile which came with the set, but my printed tile. Step 123. We are building the gear stick and the Technic used here is really crazy. Have a look. So we got this... 2x2 two two dome top brick here, this Technic Axle with Toe Ball, and this Flick Missile, which we connect with this uh, one by one tile. The Technic Axle is supposed to be interlocked with the dome top like this and the flick missile should be stuck in here in the open stat of the dome top and now the crazy part the toe ball gets connected with this uh, plate with two clips here just like this this connection might be a bit fragile <laughs> but it really is cool i have never used this kind of connection before <laughs> crazy Step 124. The set contains two 1x2 bricks in black and in this step we have to place the second of those bricks. But have a look at this brick. What happened to it? Poor little bricky. This looks hurtful. Damn. Step 134. It's time to use one of the single stats. So, here we get our single stat, and as you can see, it is hollow. That means we can use this bar as a tool. We stick it simply inside the single stat, and now we want to interlock it with a negative stat, like this. Let me just place the camera, because this is easier done with uh, two hands. Okay, I can place the single stat now here into, in the negative stat, and I push down the single stat with the fingernail, and at the same time I'm pulling off the tool. And yeah, next we can place this whole thing here on this little segment which we have built before. It's going to be one of the doors, just like this. And voila, we have inverted the building direction. Step 157. In this step, we have to use these wheel covers here. I haven't seen these pieces before. 
According to Bricklink, LEGO uses quite familiar wheel covers since 2015 and they appeared in 19 sets so far. In this flat silver color they appeared in 6 sets so far. We are going to use these wheel covers as part of the Mini's engine. Step 195. I have completed the first wing. And when you have a look at it, you will notice this gap here. And in this gap we have placed a single stud. But the single stud isn't interlocked with uh, the two pieces next to each other. It's only interlocked with this slope here but not with this piece here, because the two pieces don't line up, as you can see here. So why have we placed this single stud here? We have placed it in step, let me look it up, yeah, in step 185, but why? I guess it was simply placed there to somehow fill this gap and maybe even when it's only interlocked to one side it might help the whole construction to be a bit more structurally sound because it keeps these two pieces away so it keeps them from collapsing. But it's still a strange technique, I think. Well, then now I have to do the same with the other wing. Step 232. Here we use a really cool technique to create wheel caps. So we get these two pieces here and we connect them to each other like this. And then we simply can interlock this Technic piece here with the axle, like this. <laughs> That's really cool. Step 237. I think in this step we are using pieces which do not exist in the Lego world. Here, these 2x2 two curved corner slopes, I guess two by two by two thirds. Let me hold a plate next to it. Yeah, two by two by two thirds. And I don't know who invented this kind of slope. Maybe Kobe. But I think I have used them also in other blue brick sets. Step 242. It is not explicitly mentioned in the instructions, but in this step we have to decide if we want to place Mr. Bean's armchair later on the Mini's roof, or if we simply want to build a Mini without an armchair. In the case of placing uh, the armchair on the roof, we have to place these uh, two by two tile modifieds on the mini's roof. So here we got the tiles and we have to place them here in this gap and also in this gap. But if we don't want to place the armchair on the roof later, so if we simply want to have the car, we can use these two leftover 2x4 tiles and place them in the gaps. Those tiles are not mentioned in the instructions, but I think it's quite obvious that uh, they are included in the set to display the mini without the armchair. Step 266. In this final step we have to connect the armchair to the car with four strings. I already have placed three of those strings 
and so there's only one string left. We can't really see in the instructions how this connection is done. So the top connection is visible. There the string just sits here. We connect the start of the string with the start of uh, the armchair. But we can't see where to interlock the other um, start of the string. But when we take off the car's roof, it gets visible quite uh, easily. So you can see that we have placed these plates here and I think their only purpose is that we can connect the um, the studs of the strings to this plate. I don't see any other reason why we have placed this plate there. So, like this. I also think I should do it the same way down here. Yeah. And now the whole thing just looks like in the instructions. That means our build is complete. Now let's have a look at what we have created here. I think our model is immediately recognizable as a mini. The shape might not be perfect, but this car definitely looks like a mini. It is very detailed. Here in the front we can open the bonnet to have a look at the four cylinder engine. Here is the grill, the bumper, headlights, indicators, license plate, we can also open the back and inside we find a spare wheel, more indicators, braking lights, bumper, up here we can refuel the car, down here we got uh, the exhaustion pipe, which is actually quite cool because it continues on the underside of the build. So here you can see for example this pot here, this is really cool. And of course on the back we got the other license plate. On the sides we got the wheels with these really cool wheel caps. I still like the Technic behind this thing here. And yeah, of course, the doors to which um, the mirrors are attached and also door handles. We can open the doors. And on the inside of the doors we find also on each side a door handle and a crank for the window. Let me open the other door too. And then when we have a look inside the car, we can see the seats and also back seats. Come on, little lamp, give us some more light. And between the seats you can see the handbrake. Here in the front we got some uh, controls in transparent plates or tiles. On the side we can see the pedals, the steering wheel and of course the uh, gear stick. I think the inside is really cool. The only thing missing 
as a mirror. I think they could have attached a mirror up here, which we don't get in this model. So I've closed the doors. What is missing is a technique construction which uh, connects the steering wheel to these wheels here. So the wheel, uh, the steering wheel only is completely, uh, yeah, a cosmetic detail. It has no function. The car can only uh, drive forward and backwards. You can't drive it in a circle. And what I also don't like so much is this gap here in the front. The doors can be opened and closed quite easily, but this comes with a cost, which is this quite visible gap here. But besides those gaps, I don't think there's much to complain about. I think this car really looks cool and my printed uh, license plates really give this car the final touch. On top of the car we find the armchair. This is a cool detail and the armchair itself is very detailed. Have a look at these surfaces here. This really looks like an armchair. This is well done. All right, then I think now it's time to fill this armchair with a brick-built Mr. Bean. In January 2023, Reprickable user PsychoWard666 published a mark for 5 US dollars. This mark is called Mr. Bean's Armchair for Mini. It consists of 267 pieces. When you build this mark, in the end you get an armchair, a brick built Mr. Bean and a broom mop combination with which Mr. Bean controls his mini. This mock was an add-on for another mock by PsychoWard666. PsychoWard666 had also published um, a mini he called uh, this mark Mr. Bean's Mini. And yeah, as you can see, it's also a quite cool model. I especially like that uh, we got a more colorful interior. But I have to say I prefer... Uh, the Blue Bricks model, and that's the reason why I didn't build this mark, but uh, the Blue Bricks set. And well, now I'm going to try if uh, this Mr. Bean also fits in the uh, the armchair which we had built. I think the armchair by PsychoWard666 is a bit larger than our armchair. But in the end, I think Mr. Bean should also fit in our armchair. This mock comes, of course, with the armchair which we don't want to build because we already have an armchair. That means while I was ordering bricks, I had to uh, sort out only the bricks which we need. And, well, I was a bit lazy, so I went through the instructions and I looked which type of bricks we needed for Mr. Bean, but I didn't count the bricks needed for him, so I just bought all the bricks uh, which were in the set list for, yeah, for this type of bricks. That means 
some bricks are too much that I bought, which were actually only used for the uh, armchair. So let's have a look at the bricks. I compared all the bricks that I ordered to the instructions once again and yeah, I got all the bricks that I need. These here are the bricks that I ordered too much, so <laughs> I could have, yeah, saved a few euros, I guess. I also did a mistake while ordering those bricks. These 1x2 plates here should be in black, but for some reason I ordered them in yellow. That means I had to take out some of uh, the plates which I was collecting for another mock, for a huge mock with about 10,000 pieces. I'm uh, collecting bricks for this mock since a few months now, but <laughs> I have taken out a lot of bricks for this mark for other sets because something was missing or I messed up. So I will have to reorder six of those plates for the other mark. And something else that is wrong with my order is, yeah, these two bars here. Psycho Ward 666 didn't mention which kind of bars he used as uh, the sticks for the broom and the mop. And for some reason, I couldn't find out what he used. But it was just a brain fart by me that I ordered these sticks here. We will later have a look at the instructions and there you can clearly see that he simply used uh, rigid hoses. I don't know why I uh, didn't understand what he used there. That was simply my fault. But we will see if uh, these um, bars here are long enough. Maybe they are a bit too short, then I will to I will have to order some of those hoses. But now let's start with the build. Since we already have built an armchair, we can skip the first 49 steps of these mock instructions. We will start the mock with step 50. In steps 77 and 78, you can see that I should have used these rigid hoses. And well, I don't got any. I only got uh, rigid hoses in black, but not in tan and in white. And as I said before, I just didn't understand what I saw there. So I ordered uh, these bars here, which are of course a bit too short. And, well, here you can see that I already have uh, built the mop. And now I want to add the, the broom to the mop. But uh, when I do so, here is the lower end of the broom. When I do so, this whole thing simply is too short, so Mr. Bean can't reach the car's pedals. What I'm going to do now is that I use a few more of, uh, or yeah, a few more tiny uh, bars and also these these pins here to make at least the broom a bit longer. And this should work for now. Step 79. We have completed the mock. And it fits perfectly well to our Brubrick set here. 
this is amazing. It wasn't created for the set, but nonetheless, it fits perfectly. And building this Mr. Bean was really fun. It was a fun little build. The whole build is a bit filigree and not too sturdy. But once it, Mr. Bean sits in his armchair, he doesn't fall apart. And the building techniques used here are quite interesting. For example, how we build his tie or the legs. This is really cool. Of course, the face looks a bit blocky, but I don't have any idea how you could have done the face better. That's fine. I didn't use the correct pieces for this broomstick mop combination, so it looks a bit better if you have the correct pieces. You should use rigid hoses instead of what I did here, but nevertheless... It looks quite okay. The only thing I would add now to this yeah, complete build here is that uh, I would add maybe two more strings which go above Mr. Bean's uh, lap so that he really can control the car. But... All in all, this mock is the perfect addition for our Mini. And I think in this combination now, I can place the whole build in my shelf next to all the other cars on the same scale, 1 to 18. <laughs>